<coughs> but according to some uh, science fiction writers, uh, the uh, biological age would be followed by uh, <coughs> something like electronic age, yeah. and the computer beings would be <coughs> free of uh, yeah. uh, certain factors like sex or greed yeah. or delusion. Yeah. They wouldn't uh, uh, make wars against each yeah. other and so yeah. on. Unless they're programmed to do so. so. Uh, uh, they, at higher level of consciousness, yeah. they can program yeah. to develop themselves. So uh, that uh, mankind, based on biology and yeah. uh, um, hindered by uh, many unskilled for uh, uh, habits, mm, mm. probably it's not uh, the last world of evolution and uh, not the best actually. Well, I mean, personally, I've, I've never said that man is the, the last word uh, of evolution, but whether you know we will develop from, from man, if one can use the expression from man, in the direction of the, the computer. Or in the you know the direction of the, the Buddha, or whether in fact the you know, the, the computer might not turn out to be the Buddha, or the Buddha you near know, the computer. It's difficult to say, mm. but no doubt there is at least the possibility of some you know development higher than that which we have at present achieved. Mm. I, I sometimes wonder why science uh, you know fiction writers are called science fiction writers, because it means, seems to me to be <laughs> much more of imagination than, 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 than science. Well, they actually are science fiction. The one that which I have in mind is rather philosophical mm. science fiction. It's mm. certainly a very interesting medium. I must confess I've read very, very little science uh, fiction. But the little I have read, I did quite enjoy it. <laughs>